<laughs> That's not part of me. That's not, you can't do that, bro. You're gonna go to jail. Yeah. Literally. He's a pedophile, by the way. They're beating up a pedophile, so that's, it's okay, right? He hit this dude's newborn. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to wait to start show. Vitaly. Welcome back, everybody, to today's episode of Predator Pasta, served with a side shot of vodka. Today, we're talking about Vitaly. What does he have to do with predators, you may be asking? Well, just hold your horses, buddy. You may remember Vitaly as one of the, like, OG content creators back in the day. He was a prankster just doing his shit on YouTube. And he gained a lot of notoriety through that. All this shit was pretty much fake for the most part. I'm pretty sure he even went on record saying that, that he hired actors and shit. I go up to real strangers. I have big balls and I'm not a bitch. Out of 165 videos, I maybe faked five videos. And it's not calling fake. It's calling setting up to make the better reaction. It's called, let me tell you how do, how do I use this word. It's called, I wanted to polish the video. But that's where he started off. And he's had a pretty rocky career. We're just gonna touch on the highlights because, you know, he had he's recently made a, uh, somewhat of a comeback. And that's what we're really gonna be talking about today, his new content. But uh, back in the day, damn, this isn't even back in the day. Back in 2020, that was when his big downfall really came. Here's a photo of him, his mug shot, presumably. And uh, the dude's high as hell off of some like mushrooms, I believe. I believe that that's what he got on record saying. And uh, this is, he was arrested because he pulled some random woman off the street, a jogger, and just beat the living shit out of her. So, not the best guy. He got a felony charge for that. Good job, buddy. Here's another thing. Another mugshot of his. Dude, look at this plebeian. <laughs> Like, genuinely, dude, there's a lot of mug shots here. So the dude's had a fucking, you know, a little bit of a fucking criminal trespassing. He's not the best guy at the end of the day. But, you know, some people may say that he's making some sort of a comeback nowadays. He's making like a redemption arc of sorts. Maybe he's going on an upward trajectory. I don't think so, to be quite honest, because recently he's been streaming on the platform Kick. And what has he been doing? Well, well, he's been catching predators. <laughs> So, you know, th there's nothing wrong with that content. Before we even jump into this, I want to handle this whole situation with some delicacy because there's nothing wrong with caching predators. I love this content on YouTube, to be quite honest. I watch Skeeter Gene a lot and uh, dude's fucking lit. Highly suggest you go check him out. But he has a very diplomatic approach to the whole situation. And when I'm watching his videos, I get the vibe. You know, they're having fun. They're having a good time. They're making it entertaining. But I get the vibe that they really do want these cases to ultimately end in some sort of uh, conviction of sorts. With Vitaly, it's a little bit of a different story. Genuinely, I can't tell if it's another one of his pranks from back in 2014. Like, sometimes I'm like, are these dudes actors? Other times, there's just straight up crimes being filmed and live streamed. Like, this dude's going off the rails, and this wouldn't be allowed on any other platform other than Kick. So, without further ado, that's the introduction. Let's jump right in. We're gonna see a little bit of the insanity that has been unfolding Vitaly's Predator live stream. Let's jump right in. We're gonna start the first one off pretty tame. Right here, we have a video of Vitaly. It's, it's titled, Vitaly Gets Hard Pressed by a Massive Russian Bodybuilder, dude. So... Right off the bat, th I'm thinking these two guys are doing a collab. There's no fucking way not. Also, the Predator over here looks like he's an actor. Like, th this whole thing just seems like so fucking fake, dude. This guy is like your stereotypical little sleaze ball, like with a little toothpick in his mouth. He's like, hey, I need some fucking grease for my hair. Come on, where's the fucking year olds? You're gonna dress up, I'm gonna send you home. Okay, good. You, bro, don't ask questions. You're gonna fucking do whatever I say. It's not. It's either jail or, or it's either jail or you dress up as a girl. It's simple as that, brother. It's not bad. I dress up as a girl. Everybody dresses up. Let's get. Let's get <laughs> you, bro. Get you, you probably bro. voted for Biden. So this is usually how it goes. He gives him an ultimatum. He's like, you do this, you let us humiliate you, and we don't call the cop. And it seems like they always just want to humiliate them. I don't think the cops are ever really an option when it comes to these guys. Like they're just doing this for the content. They don't really want to get the cops involved i don't think that's the vibe i'm getting at least and uh yeah <laughs> and you're gonna do it that's it come on oh there's a good what's up how are you guys great how are you good come on brother 
Whose idea are we stealing today? Huh? Whose idea are we stealing today? Where? Whose idea? Kavoy idea I'm appeased him just. This fucking guy. Yeah, this guy. Whose idea are we stealing? Are you trying to go viral? You just said you just got my number and you just got my number. Yeah, I texted you. You just I, got my number. You just got my I fucking number. That. Yeah. I remember. He got my number in Las Vegas now. Yeah. He said stealing ideas. Yeah. Well, you're not yo, get the fuck no out of my face. Way. Bro. Like, there's no way this is real. They're doing some sort of predator encounter, and this random guy who they ran into in Vegas who got his number is now being like, Whose idea are we stealing today? This guy thinks that this is his idea, apparently. And Vitaly has been watching his channel and he's been following Vitaly. Maybe he watched this. Actually, this dude showing up kind of outed him. It's telling these guys, I've been watching your stream. I watch your stream all the time and I was able to pinpoint your geo location. So good job. Baldy. <laughs> Look at this sleaze ball though. This little fucking grimy guy over here. If I was him, I would have just ran at this point. Like, like clearly there's other matters at hand. There's distractions. I don't know, this shit's crazy though, but let's continue watching. Definitely seems fake. Uh, whose idea is uh, food. Uh, uh, number one, the dog food with the pepper. I don't watch your fucking videos. You don't? Yeah. Where'd so, you get the dog food? Bro, you wasting my time. You wasting my time. Must be equally creative. This dude's yeah. like, yeah. I watched this video, great, it was a banger, but that was my fucking idea. And then that one you posted last Tuesday. I totally told you about that in Vegas. Come on, bro. Yeah, I don't watch your fucking content. Is okay. that guy not an actor down out. there? Am I tripping? You told okay. me you did watch it. Okay, get the fuck. I'm actually trying to fucking catch you pedophiles. What are you doing with your life? You're being a fucking loser, bro. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm being a loser? Yeah, you're being a loser. You're a fucking sucker. You're the fakest mother... Sucker. You came up to me in Vegas, got my fucking number, says you're yeah. a big fan, now you're pulling up on me instead of fucking collabing? No, we, hey, okay? no, you've known me for 10 years. Uh, okay, I don't know you for fucking 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, come on, you're just... I mean, where'd you get this idea from? We're catching a predator right now. You are? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. What about Alex Rosen? I mean, you hit up Alex Rosen, my partner. And then come on. Don't worry, I'm not pointing at him anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting the club. I mean, I am, because it's like... I mean, bro, you just you just letting a file go. You gotta get all the else. You letting a file go, bro. All the else. Now they're yeah. You getting all the else. Does this guy support? Now, obviously, you know this guy. They they want to keep him for the content. If he's not an actor, the dude's a fucking slime ball. But now they're blocking his car. Like these are actually. I think these could be crimes, bro. You can't just hold the dude there. Like that's the fact of the matter. If they actually like formulated these like chat logs and shit properly, they probably could get proper legal presence there to hold him to question him. Something tells me that, uh, you know, they're not doing things properly. And even if they were to forward all the chat logs and whatever, if they even have that, if they were to forward it to the authorities, it probably wouldn't even be substantial enough to make a case. Like genuinely, you know, there's a lot of ways that you have to go about it when you're doing this stuff. You can't entrap people. It's it's stupid. There's all this legal jargon and shit. I'm not touching you. You're not touching me. You're leaning against my car. Yo, stop touching Yo, me, Yo, stop making a scene. Go, go, go. Some breakers. No, no, no. Now this guy's trying to get in. Get the fuck out. No, 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 no. Yeah. Guys. No, 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 no. He's no, gonna no, run no, us no. over. He's gonna run us over. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, you're the one who that's not part of me. That's not. You can't do that, bro. You're gonna go to jail. Literally. Fucking guy, he ruined it, bro. Fucking idiot. Ruined it, my bad. Look, Phil. Tell me where you got the idea. God damn. Hey, I'll get the heels. These dudes are so content hungry that they are literally fighting each other and committing crimes over each other on other people. Like, obviously, the dude's a, a predator. He's a fucking creep. But, like, this is so crazy to watch. Two content creators, apparently, fighting over this guy, ripping him out of the vehicle, trying to get every ounce of content out of it. Like, what is going on here, dude? Where'd you get the idea from, huh? Not you, motherfucker. Not me? Who are you? I don't even know you, bro. There's there's levels to this shit, bro. You've been doing this for 10 years? Yeah, you told me you were watching me in Vegas. Yo, chat. Yeah. You already know what to do. You gotta ruin their, his life. You guys know exactly who he is. No, it's okay. Yeah, he let the better go away. You're, you're a fucking walking hell, bro. That's the first one, guys. Coming in hot and heavy. Holy shit. All right, here is a clip called Vitaly gets pressed while trying to catch a predator at Walmart, dude. Not Wally World. It's just absolute chaos. Like, he is on top of this guy, screaming in his ear, dragging him out. This isn't legal, dude. And just wait, just wait. More happens. He affects innocent bystanders. Let's go. You take an blow. I mean, to fucking take over all of you. What? This guy's hearing me. Boy, he can't hear me. Throws him on the floor, dude. You are not the police. 
And he makes a run for it. That wasn't me. Okay, but what the fuck? That wasn't me. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You just hit my little no, nigga. I didn't push. That was I didn't push. I didn't push. So I didn't push. So what's up? I didn't push. He's trying to escalate the situation with this guy. Apparently, when he was making that whole scene, dragging that dude out of the store, he hit this dude's newborn <laughs> in the process, bro. Kudos to this guy. Like, put Vitaly in his fucking place. So, what's up? I didn't push you, bro. Right. Brother, I didn't push right. you. Right, yeah, you did. Uh, what's up? Chill, what are you doing, bro? You chill, bro. Yo, chill. I hit my little newborn, right? I didn't hit you anymore. Yeah, you did. You I did. did it, bro. You did it. On the hook. Southern, I did it. He did not take that punch well. Do you hear him trying to recover? He's like, no, I didn't hit your newborn, bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> get a grip, Vitaly. Yeah, Holy hood, shit. Hood, you did. What hood? Bro. What hood? Come on, bro. What hood? Chill, bro. What hood? Chill, bro. All right, then. No, 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 no. <laughs> absolutely insane and you may be saying like oh that's not that crazy whatever he just fucking hit a newborn like dude that is crazy first off but he is creating violent situations and that's what this really boils down to this next clip is even crazier multiple crimes are committed on live stream you gotta love the cameramen as well they are fucking stone cold with this shit they're like filming everything dude this time these are people directly affiliated with vitaly and the predator catching crew that he's working with on this given shoot let's click on and see what we're doing here this guy at looks like patrick at them at the children's fucking playground. I don't yeah, that's crazy. Why are you fucking laughing? To me? I don't he understand, understand what's happening. Why are you fucking laughing? I don't Pops. understand. Pops. Look, I'm trying to again. stop don't him again. Push me. Don't push me. Are you don't sure? push him. Him? No. This whole vibe, sure? dude, like, this is not how you set it up. Again, like, dude, Vitaly, go watch Skeeter G, bro. He's he's crushing it on the YouTube Predator front. Like, he is a pioneer of the genre. Straight up. He just knows what he's doing, dude. Holy shit. This is not how you do this. Like these dudes are just leaving as well because of how unprofessional this whole thing is. You're just like where you're wearing your hitman suit, you know, signaling to your viewers from back in the day, and you're screaming in his face. Like this is not how you do it. If you want to keep these guys there and really talk to them and try to figure this shit out, they'd probably listen. But when you're screaming at them like an animal, it's just not gonna work out, dude. Clearly, the dude's walking away and he's creating a dangerous situation for the both of you guys. Just wait and watch. Yo, okay, so I can't even yeah, watch bro. this, but this dude's yeah, just getting on. Come on. beat, bro. He's a pedophile, that's why, okay? He's now, he's a pedophile. the dude who's beating him is holding him by the back of his shirt and just repeatedly hitting him. And now he's walking away. Vitaly's like, what just happened? Here's another one. Boom. Now, when I was originally watching this, I was thinking that these were random, like, pedestrians just watching for fun and then jumping in on it. Bro, run. This dude is just following him and just going in, dude. Why are you texting a year-old boy sending him naked photos trying to take him back to your house what is wrong with you what is actually wrong with you what is actually wrong with you what is actually now you may, may be saying who is this guy this is uh mickey mays he's a a somewhat famous uh, gambler, I believe. And, uh, you know, right up kicks alley, to be quite honest. And these people who are attacking this predator, they are a part of his crew, okay? They are literally directly affiliated with Vitaly. They are doing a collab together. So they baited this guy to come. Not only are they asking him questions and uh, exposing him, but they're literally just beating the shit out of him now on live stream. <laughs> I guess better Vitaly's live stream that way they don't get in any trouble. Like they don't they don't get banned. Again, they're going in. Now he's trying to pull them off of them. Mickey's trying to grab them off. Dude's on the floor. I got Yeah guys, this is fucking crazy. Um I did not know this is they're gonna like beat him up, but like I guess he deserves it. He's a fucking file, but like um damn, holy shit. He's a file, by the way. They're beating up. Wow, so that's, it's okay, okay right? right? Bro.
they just really don't want the cops to be called because they know that they're the ones who are probably gonna get arrested at the end of the day. Oh man, you came out of nowhere. That's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, what the fuck just happened, bro? I told you my security was That's ready. That's his security. Bro, yeah. They're ready. Dude. The dude wasn't doing anything. Like, what were they ready for? They were just hungry, bro. That's what I really gather from all of this. It just, uh, the vibe I'm getting off of all of this is these guys, you know, yes, it's good that they are exposing predators, but I'm getting the vibe that there's just a bunch. These, it's a group of angry people who just want to lash out. And they're like, I can find a target where there's no repercussions for me doing it. And they're just going ham, humiliating people people like just like you know beating the shit out of them doing other stuff there's more we're gonna watch but let's continue on dude that's gonna happen to every guy is this guy? like the first one that's gonna happen to every guy yeah. holy shit holy shit holy hey i got kids hey brother come here come here yeah come here you got kids yeah i What's got four of them huh this is my brother and I'm his bodyguard. Yeah, I got four. So, you, so you want to give a fuck if the cops came right now and the rest? Holy fuck. I have an SUV filled with my homies that are strapped to professional He's fighters. He's got an SUV full of homies strapped to our professional fighters. So they're just ready to, you know, text some creep. Hey, pull up to this location. And then they're ready to have guns drawn, bro. Just empty out magazines on the motherfucker because he deserves it. The whole thing just is like not sitting right, dude. Skeeter Jean would never let this happen. And now that you see how crazy this is all getting, you can see that he's creating very very dangerous situations for him and the people that he's catching and the people who are watching on the street quite frankly and the whole reason to film in the first place is so that you know you can't say I did something to you and I can't say you did something to me but they are literally filming themselves just fucking committing crimes left and right on these people and it's crazy they they think it's fully justified and like don't get me wrong these people are gross and disgusting but I don't know man this is just something is crazy here. This just doesn't sit right. And it all did come to an initial head when I started seeing headlines saying that Vitaly killed a man on live stream during his predator catch. Pretty much, you know, he's been getting a lot of traction with this. A lot of these clips do very well on Twitter. And he's been doing these like 10 nights of catches or something. He did one with Lil Pump. And then in this story, he uh, did a collab with Ty Dolla Sign, okay? And they were doing catches all all day. Let's just watch the clip. Let's just watch the mother flipping clip. This is straight from World Star. So, Ty Dolla Sign and popular streamer Vitaly have teamed up and joined forces on a new 10 episode series to serve justice. However, the show might have already ended because one person appears to have died on live stream. Now, they're getting their information a little skewed. Uh, you know, he's only a guest on one of these episodes. He's doing like episodes with different people every night. And let's continue on. Yes, yes, paramedics. I gotta blur this. This dude is literally laying on the floor and there's blood pooling around his head, bro. Like, this is ridiculous. The cameraman never fails, dude. He's fucking stone cold on that shit. Holy fuck. Go right here. So this is earlier in the day. They found this random dude, presumably. The rapper and streamer have teamed up uh, on the on the new series titled 10 Nights of Takedowns, which live streams on Kick, where the two bait and apprehend alleged child predators in real time. That was pretty lit, dude. I would be stoked as a youngster. I'd be like, dude, the 10 Nights of Takedowns. But you know, imagine how many children have are watching this, dude. They literally watched a dude get murdered. Fuck. What's up? I need the pizza. You want to meet you want to meet a boy for sex, bro? No one's gonna hurt you. What's up, bro? Huh? You're a good person? You're going to jail, boy. Like, these dudes need to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely. A part of me is like, this is actually good. Like, this guy is so scared, which is honestly great. It's a good thing. He's fucking, like, you could tell he, he's fucking worried for his life, which is good. But there's just something that just doesn't sit right about, like, this whole, like, torture type shit. Like, these fucking guys are getting off on this. I, I swear, bro. Vitaly loves this shit. He loves, like, tormenting people, and th these people are free game. Straight up. Turn around, turn around. Turn around. Oh, boy, we're gonna make an example out of you, bro. 
in your boy, your bro. This ain't that bad, That's actually. What you, you know, bro. You know, he's just cutting his hair, whatever. <laughs> they cornered the apparent predator and took. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. They cornered the apparent predator and took turns shaving his head as the man claimed to be innocent and said he was not a predator. Soon after, they took pictures of him and threw a fake grenade at the man as he ran away, dude. Right here, bro, they pull a fake grenade and throw it at this guy. And it is an explosive of some type. Boom. There is no way that that is legal, dude. You can't throw fake explosives at people. Like, what are we doing? Anything for the content, I guess. Like, it is fucking good content. Don't get me here on. This shit is entertaining, but like, it's just like, what is going on? This is just insanity. Knocked out and murdered? What? Not too long after, they catch another much older alleged predator. As they embarrassed him and called him out, a random citizen, seeing and hearing the situation, walks up and knocks out the alleged pervert, appearing to have killed him, dude. Boom, right there, he's down. I'm gonna have to blur that, and he runs. Let us know that he's gonna be okay. Uh, no long life, lasting medical conditions. Everything's gonna be all right. The next thing the cop told me, which was good, is that he's been arrested. He's gonna be going to jail for being a pedophile. That's the end of it. However, hours later, Vitaly and his security guard assure fans that the alleged child predator has survived and was taken to the hospital where he received care and would be arrested after he recovered. I'm sorry, but there's no way. Maybe he was all right, honestly, because we're gonna hear from the security guard guy. He's actually an EMT as well, and supposedly he was able to revive the guy on the floor, get him to start talking and shit. And so maybe he's all right, but there is no way that the police told him, yeah, we have enough to uh, convict this guy of an arrest. Like, I don't know what kind of Proof Vitaly has. I wish I did, bro, but there's no way that they they assured him of that. I'm sorry. But let's hear what the security guard has to say. All right, guys. You know, none of us have any uh, sympathy for pedophiles, but that shouldn't happen. Uh, unfortunately, when we were speaking with one of the pedophiles, we had a gentleman uh, came that came out of the crowd out of nowhere and uh, sucker punched the pedophile, uh, knocking him out. Uh, he is alive. Um, benefit for Vitaly is he was smart this time he hired a security guard that also is an EMT we were able to get his bleeding to stop he's like he was smart this time around securing that deal for the next night of takedowns Vitaly's gonna hire this guy every single night now and it just goes to show that he's smart this time around he hired me this guy has no idea about the inner workings of this operation dude he's literally just there to get a paycheck he's an armed guard and he also you know has an EMT license or however that works. He doesn't know about the inner workings. He doesn't know about the chat logs, I'm sure. He doesn't know about how they find these people, how they bait them. There's no way that the police confirmed that this guy's getting arrested. At which point, it makes me question the whole thing. Like, is this guy okay? Does anybody know if this guy's dead or not? I was also seeing a lot of comments in that on that World Star video where people were like, the cops, they didn't even want to follow the uh, civilian who sucker punched him. And yeah, you know, I'm sure that if cops were there, they probably would have been, no, Honestly, I don't know, bro. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. I think that they would have immediately went and chased after him, but there were no cops present. This is the only guy who was present and he didn't follow because he's like, uh, I'm here for this predator guy. I don't give a fuck about that dude over there who just committed assault. <laughs> like, dude, what in the fuck? He was able to speak to me. He was alert and oriented and we got him over to LA County Fire. They're doing an evaluation on him now, but he's supposed to be okay. Uh, if we get any updates, well, let's chat though. But, uh, that's all we have for now. Um, like I said, we're gonna have to end the stream. This is crazy. But there's no, can't even explain, chat. What just happened? This is crazy. We're gonna have to end the stream. Wow, bro. That's the least you could do. You literally just made all your viewers watch some dude have fucking gallons of blood pool out of his head, out of his fucking skull. I'm all for predator catching, but this content is just crazy, dude. There are a bunch of children watching this and it's just, you know, security guards beating people up, civilians beating people up. This is the type of content you want on your platform kick. Just a bunch of people getting fucked up left and right. It's kind of hard to watch, to be honest. I gotta say, when Patrick was getting beat up in the back of the head, bro, it was like, oh, Man, dude, oh my, okay, this is getting a little bit hard to watch now, holy shit. What up? I'm here, this is something happened to the old man. Yeah, some gangbanger ran up on him and punched him in the face and he fell and hit the, hit the back of his head on concrete and started bleeding for a piece of it. The gangbanger? Yeah, 
can't say, just can't say he didn't deserve it. Yeah, that's crazy. I wish I didn't have to witness that shit. But yeah. luckily, we were we're lo yeah, it was right in front of me, bro. Luckily, uh, we're dead kind of protected. Yeah, he was bleeding badly. Um, but uh, yeah, the ambulance came, took care of him. He woke up. He knew where he was. He wrote his name. Alan I'll, I'll handled it under. Yeah, I think he had a gun too. The gangbanger. He's like with the cameras. Yeah, yeah. So you left at the right time. <laughs> yeah, so the other dude, he left uh, right before this catch, and like, you know, thank goodness, uh, I would be happy if I was him, you know, for leaving. And Vitaly's like, I wish I didn't see that, man. I wish I didn't have to witness that. Bro, you live streamed it for like thousands of your viewers to watch, brother. <laughs> Tons of little kids, dude. Like, what are we talking about here? You are a grown ass man, and you put yourself in the situation, and you put a camera in front of that situation, and streamed it for all your children viewers to watch. This is getting crazy, dog. He also says that the guy probably had a gun. You're fucking lucky, Vitaly, that that dude didn't shoot him because you would definitely be to blame. I gotta say, you definitely would be held accountable for that murder. All I'm gonna say, bro, but absolutely crazy situation. I hope Vitaly, you know, he. I hope he learns from this situation because if not this time around, it's gonna be tomorrow or next month or sometime during the year that somebody is going to wind up dead and the blood will be on your hands, Vitaly. That's just the reality of the situation, my man. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Do you enjoy watching Predator videos? Like, this shit's lit, but something about this type of format is just like, dude, it's a little bit much. What are we doing here? It's crazy. It is super entertaining, but it's a little dystopian, the whole streaming vibe of it. I don't know. There's something off. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe even, question mark, because I I post three times a week, so you want to get into the loop, patch next, uh, the next video in the chain. As for me, I am your boy Pblar. It's been real, and until next time, guys, be well and peace.